applications have you seen where the combination of smart cards and biometrics are catching on? Well, there are several applications where biometrics and smart cards are becoming popular. Uh, one we see is in access control. For example, the restricted area access control system at uh, Canada airports is using biometrics such as iris recognition and fingerprint in conjunction with smart cards for airport employees to be able to access the secure areas or non-public areas of airports. Another example is in border crossing points, checkpoints, or immigration entry points into countries for using uh, a frequent traveler card like a citizen ID in conjunction with biometrics to verify identity in what is called an e-gate system, such as in Hong Kong and Singapore where citizens that are re-entering the country from outside simply insert their card or read their card in a contactless reader, present their biometric sample, and if that matches to what is stored in the card, then they're able to gain access without having to be interviewed by a, an immigration official. How do smart cards and biometrics technology complement one another when used together? Biometrics in combinations with smart card is very cool because the smart card provides a portable data file that is cryptographically secure in terms of the information that's stored in the memory of the card. And that can include personally identifiable information that you want to protect from a privacy as well as a security perspective. And that includes the biometric data that could also reside on there. What the card can do is validate that it is a legitimate card, that it has been issued by an appropriate authority, that the data information on the card hasn't been altered or modified, all of that through cryptographic processes in a very secure manner. What the biometric data on the card can do is verify that the person presenting the card for access or for a privilege is in fact the same person that the card was issued to, so they're extremely complementary in that regard. What is the difference between biometrics match on system versus match on card? In biometric technology, whether it be fingerprint, iris, or vein recognition, whatever the technology, the actual comparison of two samples to determine if a person has a high enough similarity score to be declared a match that matching function can take place either on a computer system or host computer or in a control panel or a reader device, but it can, and that's called match on system. It can also take place inside the smart card itself because a smart card is a microcontroller computer in and of itself. So the biometric data that resides in the smart card can actually be matched against a live presented sample inside the card. That provides a higher level of assurance because the card can accept that match function because it's known to the card and can then open other card functions and release information of a privacy sensitive nature. So it provides another level of assurance 